Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my summer evening routine. I don't really get up too much. I mean, I often um, have a pamper. Um, but it's been really hot recently, so I haven't really um, done a lot of like curling my hair. Like I've kind of just bunged it up in a plait. So um, yeah, I just thought I'd share with you what I do on my uh, evening routine if you're interested. Yeah, I really hope you enjoy the video and if you'd like to see what I get up to, then please carry on watching. Okay, so I just got in from work, um, and I'm just cooking some pasta. Um, sorry about the um, iPhone quality. Um, I'm literally still in my work stuff, um, and my camera's in my bedroom, and I haven't been in my bedroom yet. Um, but I've just made a pasta sauce. I have spinach, tomatoes, onion, garlic, chorizo, um, and some tomato puree, salt and pepper. I just need to put a little bit of sugar in. Um, only because apparently it helps um, with making the tomato puree less bitter. I actually might put some honey in just so we're not using um, the sugar. Um, and I've also got some tapatelli going as well, which should be done in a minute. And then I'm going to eat this, which is kind of like my lunch slash dinner. <laughs> I think I finally made the right amount of pasta for one person for the first time in my life. Um, but this is dinner. It's looking very nice. Well, I say dinner, I'm probably going to have dinner later on as well because it's currently only quarter past three. Um, but yeah, I'm going to eat. So I have just had a shower just really quickly because I got home from work and I was really sticky and sweaty and gross as per usual. Um, and I just couldn't think of anything worse than putting different clothes on and not having a shower um, so I've just had a quick shower put my hair into a bun and just put on some um, exercise clothes I was planning on maybe doing some yoga um, because I really want to start uh, exercising <laughs> um, but I mean I thought if I put my exercising clothes on then surely that's gonna make me want to exercise um, but I need to go and send off something I sold on eBay and also I was thinking of buying a new nail polish because I've been using the same one for a really long time and I've been pinching my mum's and I feel really bad um, and I'm in need of a new one so I might take a trip to Boots and see what I can get there um, but yeah this is, these are my nails currently but my little pinky on the other hand has completely like come off so um, I'm gonna have to do something about that because I really hate having my nails messy um so yeah and then I'm gonna have a pamper in the bath I think because I haven't done that for a while even though I'm gonna get sweaty again tomorrow at work if you didn't know I um clean in a hotel so it gets very sweaty and especially in the summer it gets very hot so I'm constantly sweaty um, but yeah, that's what's going on. So I think I'm going to pop to the shop and also go to the post office. Um, I'm also just watching, um, is it, her name is Kim Mann on YouTube. Um, I'm watching her Manchester vlog and I'm not going to lie, she's absolutely stunning. Like, she, I'm, I'm pretty sure she's younger than me by like two or three years, but she looks so much older than me and she's just beautiful and I love her vlogs. So yeah, this is what usually happens when I get home from work. I just loll up. So this is my look. These are both from Primark. I am um, literally can't be dealing with expensive gym wear because I just don't gym. Um, so there's actually no point. Um, I'm pretty sure this was four pounds and these are about five but they're really good because they have like, they do make your bum look quite big. I don't know what this thing here is doing but it does make your bum look quite good. Um, and I've also got my slippers on because I'm just lounging and also if you're wondering, I currently don't have any tan on. How, I'm very proud of myself. So I haven't been on holiday. However, I did peel a little bit up on my forehead. I don't know if you can see, it's got a bit crusty. That's gross. <laughs> but yeah, this is uh, my outfit for the evening. Okay, I'm back from the shop. I just posted off 
um, the thing I needed to post and I went to Boots and I got a new nail polish. I got this one. Is it going to focus? Yeah, I got this one from Barry M. It's basically like a mauve sort of pink. Now my sister has this on her nails but obviously a shellac version. Um, with like gold glitter like I have on my fingers. This is basically the state of my nails <laughs> at the minute. Look at that end one, there's actually nothing on there. But um, this is a Maybelline one and this is like festival glitter. Um, but basically I thought I'd show you what I do with my nails because I'm going to do them now just because I've got a spare bit of time. So um, I remove it with this remover from Boots. It's the moisturizing one so hopefully it won't leave my um nails too weak and the skin around my nails ruined um and then i also use this cutex um all in one strengthener i use this as a base coat and basically stuff like this is how i grow my nails i would really I'd highly recommend the sally hansen one i used that when i first started growing my nails like i used to have horrific horrible like nails my fingers are just disgusting to be honest um but then i started using the sally hansen stuff and it literally worked a miracle so i thought i'd give the cutex one a try um i think i paid like four pounds something it was on offer um probably about two months ago but you can get this in boots it's really good and it's just nice to apply your color onto something that's not just your normal nail so I take off my normal nail polish and then I'll file them. These are like a set from Primark, I'm pretty sure. Um, I got like, were they from Primark? I can't remember, but they were really cheap. Maybe they were from B&M. Um, and I sometimes push my cuticles back and then apply some of this um, CND cuticle oil. Um, this is a little free tester, I think, from when I had my shellac done at Christmas. And you got a little cute little, little gift, um, and that came in it. And then this is the polish I just bought. Um, and I'm going to paint my nails with that, I think. Um, and also in here is all my festival glitter and also some... Uh, other nail polishes um so yeah this is all my festival glitter in here which i got from ebay or amazon i think um and the one that i've been putting on my nails is this one because it's the most like finely milled okay it's not focusing very well but i don't know if you can see but this is basically what it looks like it's very finely milled glitter and i literally just apply it with a brush and it comes out looking like this so i think i'm going to put that on top of the new colour. Also, if you're wondering what I have on my nails at the minute, it's uh, this Maybelline one. These super stays are the best drugstore nail polish you can ever buy. Like, they look like shellac on your fingers, basically, and they last for such a long time, apart from this one. <laughs> This is what my nails are looking like without any polish on at all. Um, this hand is definitely better than the other hand and these are my real nails if you're wondering. Um, this one is broken. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is what they're looking like and I'm just going to paint a layer and also on my toes as well i'm not going to show you my toes why was i what, what am i thinking um but yeah i'm just gonna i thought i'd show you what my nails look like without the nail polish on and then maybe doing it after okay so i finally done my nails um i'm really happy with them i don't know if you can see but how pretty do they look it's really hard because the glitter doesn't focus very well um the nail polish is actually a lot more purple than I thought it was going to be, but I'm okay with that. I think it look pretty. Okay, so I thought I'd just let you know what I use in the shower. Um, I have washed my hair and also um, shaved and stuff. And these are the products that I use. So um, for my hair, I literally just bought this one boots because I'm, I won't lie, I'm quite poor. Um, and it's on offer for £1.58 and it's the LV Extraordinary Oil Shampoo. 
Oh, and it actually does have coconut oil in which I didn't know. Um, and I also used the Garnier Ultimate Blends Mask, which is the coconut one. And this makes your hair feel really nice. And I use this when I feel like my hair's a bit dry. Um, and is in need of like some loving on the ends because I get really dry roots. And then um, I use this um, original source coconut and shea butter body wash. I got this the other day as well because it was uh, on offer for a pound. But for some reason I really like coconut in the summer. And I just love the smell of it. So these are the things I used in the shower. And then I also just take in with me my wet brush. Um, excuse the hairs on it. But it's literally just to brush through my knotty hair. It makes it so much easier for when I get out of the shower. So these are really good. Like, I recommend these to every girl. So yeah, that's what I use in the shower. I'm also just going to moisturise with the um, Molten Brown Pink Pepper Body Lotion. I love this stuff. It just makes my skin feel really nice after I've had sun cream on. Like, it doesn't feel like um, sun cream and um, it dries quite quickly, which is good, but it still makes your skin feel moisturised. Um, so I'm going to pop a little bit of this on just to also maintain my tan as well so I don't peel. I don't know how well you can hear me because of the fan that's going. I don't know whether to turn it off. But I'm going to use um, this Aaliyah Skin Pink Clay Mask. And this is such a good mask. It's like the best face mask I've ever used. And that actually works on my skin. Um, as you can see, I've used quite a lot. So I've had quite a lot of time um, to test it because I was actually sent this. Um, it's a very thick um, consistency um, but today I'm literally just going to put it on my a little bit on my forehead because I've just picked a few spots um, and on my nose because I also have tan on my face and I don't want to take it all off Okay, I don't know if you can tell, but you can see where it's like dried and it's gone really crusty. Um, and sometimes you can actually, I don't know if you can see, but you can like see where all of my pores are on my face, which is actually quite disgusting. So I'm going to use a flannel and take it off. The next thing I'm going to use is this um, red velvet oil, can you see? Come on! This red velvet oil serum um, and it's from Freshly Cosmetics. This was also sent to me so I'm currently trying it out but I never, I never thought I'd like to put an oil on my face because I just know how sensitive it is, um, how sensitive my skin is. But this one is actually quite nice and I usually put it on before bedtime. Um, but sometimes I like to if I like if I know that my skin needs a little bit of like TLC, if you know what I mean. Put three pumps on my face because I don't want to cake my face in it. It is really warm. And I just massage it in. Just like a moisturizer really. I've also got sunburn, so I'm hoping that might help ease the pain. Next thing I'm going to do is use my moisturiser because I don't really like the um, oily feel of the um, serum on my skin. So I'm going to use the Neutrogena uh, Pink Grapefruit Moisturiser. This literally throws me right back to when I first started my blog because this was like one of the first moisturizers i think i ever bought and i did like a little boots haul 
um, but I love the smell and it just reminds me of like old blogging times. <laughs> Uh, sorry, I'm mentioning a lot of things that I've gotten sent, but they're just kind of part of my skincare routine at the minute. Um, but I also use this Tamar London Lightening and Moisturising Cream Complex. This is basically supposed to um, brighten like dark circles and spots and just make your skin look a little bit more refreshed and like, you know, and you just feel like your skin looks really dull. Um, but I have only just started um, using this so I can't really comment on it too much um, but it feels really nice and it keeps my skin really nice and like hydrated okay the final thing I'm gonna do is um, put some of this Garnier natural bronze on my face just to keep my tan topped up. Okay, I've just put on this little um, play suit. I don't know if you can see very well. It's basically got like a crochet top and then like this really cute little flowery shorts and it's quite like open at the back but because it's so bloody hot um today is also like um 34 degrees for some really strange reason um but i just put this on because it's really lightweight i've just got some primark flip-flops on which are literally like 90p um i've prepared dinner this morning so um i'm just gonna go and chill in the garden with my mum and then have dinner and I may be meeting Molly for a beverage. Um, so that might happen as well. And I also just need to have a little tidy of my room, but I can't bother to do that now, it's too hot. So yeah, I just thought I'd share with you my attire, which I do enjoy. And sorry if you can't really hear me very well, I just cannot cope without the fan on, to be honest. See you in a bit. Okay, so that's everything that I get up to in my evening routine in the summer. I really hope you enjoyed. Sorry if it was a little bit boring, but just thought I'd share it, share it with you anyway. And if you enjoyed the video, please do like it. If you'd like to see more videos from me, then please subscribe. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye.